conservatives are proving that they are unwilling to defend grain producers. When the pressure was on, the Minister of Agriculture stood up in this House and, and before committee and part of the Order and Council said, we're going to fine those rail companies $100,000 a day. Well, here's today's reality. The Minister of Transportation says, no, hang on, it's only going to be $100,000 a week. So, so much for tough talk, Mr. Speaker. So, simple question through you to the Minister. Why did he back down and when will he finally stand up for farmers? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member may have missed it, but in, in my opinion, I have to say this is the best agriculture minister that we have seen. Ensure sure that grain farmers are protected. CN has not hit their limits or their levels. We will enforce. They are in violation and we'll continue to make sure that we protect, through the Minister of Agriculture, grain farmers in Canada. Right. Mr. Speaker, the reality is, last spring, the Ministers of Transport and Agriculture crossed the country talking tough, announcing fines of $100,000 a day. But when it came to cracking down on rail companies who failed to deliver Canadian grain, Conservatives just rolled over. Now we learn the actual fines are only a fraction of that amount. Prairie farmers are saying that's just par for the course. The intervention was too little, too late. Mr. Min Mr. Speaker, can the minister tell our farmers why the minimal penalties? Very early. The Minister of Transport. Well, Mr. Speaker, again, I want to personally thank the Minister of Agriculture for his great work on the file to ensure that we're working together as a government on this matter. But I think we should also, Mr. Speaker, we should also, Mr. Speaker, talk to the people out there who are the ones who are a beneficiary of C-30. Of C Brent Halstead, President of the Canadian Canola Growers Association. This action demonstrates the government is listening to farmers' concerns. We look forward to working with the government and other industry stakeholders. Quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, the opposition is not in the, in the game on this one. The government is one that's dealing with this on a daily basis and is out front. Mr.